Hello, thanks for joining me again. Today what I'm going to look at uh, is a bottle stopper arbour, or in fact an arbour for anything that you might want. Um, we thought this would be a good opportunity to do this because we've just, at the time of making the video, um, got some new bottle stoppers which are these ones here. Uh, they're teardrop shaped bottle stoppers, we think they're the nicest ones that we do, really nice these. Um, and we thought it would be a good opportunity to do an arbour um, and also to recap on the system that we have uh, for making bottle stoppers because we still maintain it's the quickest, easiest and simplest way of making bottle stoppers. Now we do sell, uh, as some of you may be aware, a mandrel which is a simple little bit of um, kit like that. Um, it's like a little bolt with a flange nut on this end and it also comes with a washer as well. Um, there's nothing wrong with these but um, particularly when you're a beginner, when these are in a chuck what you can get if you've got a large piece of wood on this end is a little bit of movement and you can get a little bit of chatter. Um, so as always we're going to do ourselves out of selling these, not that they're much anyway, they're only a few pence, um, and show you how to make an arbour so you can mount things in a different way uh, and also assist in the measuring uh, of the top to go onto the bottle stopper. So let's have a look at what we're going to be using today. I've got my bottle stoppers, I'm going to move these out of the way so the rubbery bits don't get uh, covered in dust. Um, but as with all our bottle stoppers, they come with a wood insert screw, which is, when I finally unscrew it, that bit there, and also uh, a threaded piece and ours come with a hex end fitting at the end. We don't think anyone else has those, um, just to make life easy if you make things with uh, acrylic or corian as an example. So I'm going to pop these out of the way and then we'll look at what we've got left here. So for today's project I'm going to be using a faceplate. Here's one I've got. You may decide to use um, a, a chuck or a chuck and a faceplate. You may have various ways um, of mounting um, the block of wood and here I've got a block of wood I'm going to mount this uh, onto the faceplate and this is what I'm going to make my arbour from. Now what I'm going to use for the arbour is one of our wood insert screws. We sell these separately and we sell them um, I think the code is HJI for the insert um, wooden insert with one of these as well. They're quite handy little things um, and again they're only a few pence. So I'm going to mount the block of wood onto the faceplate with four screws. I'm not going to show you that because to be honest that's pretty simple. So I'm going to go and do that now. I'm going to bring it back to the lathe and show you how we insert the wood screw and get it all level, trim down the right size and how we can then mount uh, a bottle stopper um, blank in order to turn it. Um, so the other tools I've got are a screwdriver and screws for mounting the block onto the faceplate. Uh, I've got uh, a countersink, it can be any countersink, that's for countersinking for the wood insert. I've got uh, an 11mm drill bit. Some people say um, it should be 11.5mm, we sell both. Um, it does depend on the type of wood that you have uh, and what condition that wood is in. Uh, we've always used an 11mm, you may prefer 11.5mm. And, um, and then I've got an 8mm hex key because that fits in the wood insert screw there when it comes to finishing it. Um, and of course there's various other fittings on the lathe that we'll see uh, with the head and tail stock as we go along. So, I've drilled my pilot holes, I've mounted my uh, oak block in this case uh, on my face place and I'm going to pop that directly onto the lathe there, get it fairly tight but uh, we'll be fighting against this. I'm now just going to turn this round just to knock off these edges because they're going to hurt if I do catch my fingers on them uh, and we're then going to trim down a small section at this end to the correct diameter for the bottle stopper that we're going to make. So we've got our block in here uh, and we've started to trim down this end. Um, what I'm now going to do is bring up the tail stock. Now I'm using uh, a dead centre here uh, just because I'm going to make sure I get absolutely no movement. I'm going to use that dead centre just to push in the end and make a mark right in the centre um, of that bit there. I've 
I've got my Jacobs chuck in this end and my 11mm drill here. I've got the drill bit as far down into the chuck as I can get it because the shorter this bit is the better because the less movement we're likely to get. And we're going to get it as central as we can in this piece to make the arbor. So we'll now turn the speed down fairly slow and just drill into this bit here. Having drilled my central hole, what I'm now going to do is just level off this end of our arbor here. We need this to be flat so when we screw on our bottle stopper blank it fits nicely and level on there. If it's not flat it's going to sit at an angle and you'll still be able to turn it but when you put it on the bottle stopper the stopper and the top will be just at slight angles. So we've leveled that off, quite happy with that and I'm now going to change the Jacobs chuck and take the drill bit out and put the countersink in. I'm just going to countersink this bit here now. So I've got my countersink here to put a little countersink in there and this is for my wood insert screw. Um, it's again, you must measure the wood insert screw. The one I'm doing today is 17 millimeters, but again, specifications can change and you might buy one from somewhere else that's a different length or size. Um, but I'm just gonna put a little countersink in here and then I'm actually gonna screw in uh, the, the wood insert screw and then we're gonna trim the rest of this down to the correct diameter that we want. So again, speed fairly slow for this one because we're effectively drilling. We'll just have a look at that, it's plenty deep enough, it's literally just a couple of millimetres in there. And we can now get um, our wood insert screw and pop it in this bit here. I've been over to the workbench, there's my wood insert screw and my 8mm hex key. And I'm going to get that and I'm going to put it in as centrally as I can. It should pull fairly central anyway. Um, just going to screw that all the way in until it's completely flush. Just slightly under the surface of that wood that we've trimmed level. Now if we turn that on hopefully we'll see that that's pretty central and we can even test it with a little bit of thread. So we'll just pop a bit of thread in there. You will see that these threads, there's a tiny little bit of movement in there and that's actually quite a useful thing. Um, but we'll turn the lathe on and we can see that's pretty much going around centrally. So I'm quite happy with that as it is. And what we're now going to do is to trim this section down to 24 millimeters, which is the diameter I need for the new bottle stoppers. Now one of the ways that I can check that this bit is the right size is by actually getting the bottle stopper. Um, if I was doing this um, and had a production line going, if I was doing that I'd remove this bit of silicon because um, so if you're taking it off and having to wash it. But you can actually screw the bottle stopper on there and just check that you've got the correct size here and how it's going to look on the bottle stopper at that point there. Um, and that looks fine to me. Uh, and what I'm actually now going to do um, is to get a marker pen and just put a black marker on there so when we mount the blank and have cut it down and start to sand it and finish it I can assess how much I'm taking off this bit because eventually this bit will wear away. Now we've coloured that black we'll know when we have our blank mounted at this end if this starts to get paler and change colour that we're actually taking some off here but it's probably only going to be a fraction of a millimetre anyway so this should last uh, as long as you're um, half reasonable at turning quite some time. So the next thing we're going to do is to actually get uh, our blank and mount it in this section here uh, and then we'll look at just turning and finishing the bottle stopper and then put it together. I've already prepared um, a blank here, this is a bit of walnut, um, I haven't used this before uh, and as you can see I've put the wood insert screw that comes with the kit already in there. So I've used, I actually used an 11.5mm drill um, in this one, 11.5mm drill in there and a little countersink and I've also got my um, threaded uh, section here which I'm going to put um, in 
this bit first and then I'm going to screw the whole thing into the arbor. Um, now what I'm going to do is get the hex end thread so it's sticking out that way just in case um, we've drilled too far and I lose the thread in there I can put a hex key in and get it out again so we're going to put the hex end in into the blank that way just a little bit and we're then going to screw on the other way you can do it either way you can screw the screw in this and then put this on whichever way you like I'm just going to screw that up and get it nice and tight and we've now got our blank mounted straight on our arbor um, and hopefully you'll see that was pretty quick and easy which is why we maintain this is the quickest and easiest way of making a bottle stopper so we're now going to turn and finish the bottle stopper and then we can unscrew it mount it onto the um, chrome or gold part of the stopper and the job's done Now I'm hoping you can see um, I've started shaping this and there's a little bit of um, not very good bit of wood up here so I'm just going to trim this off but you'll see when I'm working up this end that there's really no chatter when the blank is mounted on the arbor here. So I'm now just going to sand and finish that and you can see down here a little bit where I've just touched the, um, the wood, it hasn't really taken any off but it has taken off the black ink so I, I could, I'll probably remark that when the um, stopper comes off um, but I'm just going to literally sand and finish this now and then we'll put the bottle stopper together. Right, I'm not going to finish this completely because I'm going to have a play with some different finishes uh, in a minute. But what I'm going to do, we're going to take this off here and I thought that the walnut would probably go quite nicely with the gold bottle stopper. So I am going to unscrew um, that. Actually the whole arbor's come off the, uh, the lane. There we go. We'll unscrew that. And the wood. We'll just pop the thread in there and then we'll fit the not quite finished and turned top on the stopper there and you can see hopefully if I hold that up to the camera we've got a pretty good fit at the right diameter down this end into the bottle stopper and when that's all polished up hopefully that will be um, quite an impressive and nice looking kit. So what you could do is go to um, a supplier and spend £18 on an arbor and a pound each for a nylon nut to turn your bottle stoppers or you could spend about 30p and make yourself one of these um, in whatever um, bit of metal you have at this end to put on the lathe and turn your bottle stoppers just as easily. Uh, if anything goes wrong you can remake it. Um, I hope that's been useful and maybe saved you a few pounds as well. Um, there is our arbor section there and there is our finished gold bottle stopper with a walnut top. Um, as always if we can offer you any help we're more than happy to do so. Um, please visit the website and see our whole range and we look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks very much. Bye bye now.